All right, today I'm sharing with you one of the exercises that's inside my new knee course that's happening in October, and it's about lateral movement or lateral loading. So one of the exercises in the lateral section of the, of the course is a lateral step up. Now, I like this exercise because it helps replicate sort of daily life movements, but also teaches you to move and get your hip over your knee. Now, what I mean is when people do step ups, they use you to step up and push off with the other leg and they're not really loading this leg here they're pushing up with the other leg because they don't have the stability on this one and what you'll learn on the course is what I, what I teach you is is to look at what the knee's doing and what the hip is doing to maintain that knee stability to try and program in a better pattern of movement post injury or post pain so when that person goes back to doing strength and conditioning work and exercise work and in classes that they're doing correct knee movements so they're not going to get re-injured so for this movement here when you do a lateral step up the idea is to try and get the knee over the foot and then the hip as much over that foot as possible it doesn't have to be absolutely directly over but I don't want it out here because if you start loading through there, you've got this rotational force through that knee and it's usually just going to cave or rotate when you step up, which is just going to start causing all sorts of rotary problems through there. So what you've got to try and teach your clients is to try and get that knee over your foot, in the middle of your foot, hip over as much as you can, and then that forces me to use this leg to push off, not this one, because my weight's almost gone now from there. So I have to drive up. And so this point of the program, or part of the course, is your lateral loading. If they're going to stamp on one leg, they can't afford it to dive in. So at this stage, they have to have their step down sorted out. They have to have a one-legged ball squat sorted out. They have to have their single leg deadlift sorted out. So they can actually load bear on that knee and control it. It's just advancing all those precursor exercises into a lateral exercise. So that's a really nice one to do. Now, the trick is also, when they come down, they've got to make sure they do the exact, exact reverse. So they're squatting in here and then coming off. How many times have you seen this one where they come off, they jump on the box and they're just off and they just crash and drop. There's just a massive eccentric drop. So there's no learning about how to load bear down off a step sideways on the way down. So you've got to make sure when they come down, they just do the reverse before they come off, okay? Now, in the course, what we use is progressions, we use stability, we use load, we use lateral load. And so for this one, what we can use is we increase the difficulty of this exercise, not with vertical load, but we use it with lateral load. So we call this almost a stability, it's in the stability section as our progression. What I mean is, if you can try and get it so you are near a place where you can attach a band so for this exercise you could use a band like this okay so this is my lateral load now it's not a vertical load so it's what we call it's in the stability section so when i step up this band is trying to pull me inwards like that okay so this movement here is what i'm trying to achieve okay and if i've got that on the simple step up and I could advance to this the work rate is here okay which is more stability so there's not a work rate really more on the quad the hammy the work rate is mostly up in the hip so when I come up I've got to work really hard to keep that knee especially at this point here when I squat down to keep that knee from crashing inwards because the band is trying to pull that way I want my external rotation strength, which is the weakest part usually. Most people who come back from knee pain, it's their external rotation strength they're lacking. So when they come up, they've got to try and watch that knee, keep in position and maintain the entire same movement pattern as they just did without it crashing in. And trust me, this is going to burn out that glute and a really nice way of advancing that exercise. Um, by increasing the muscle work done, which is like I said, it's in the stability section. So there's my first exercise. Stay tuned, I'll give you another one next week.